Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Celebrating its 18th year, the Key West Songwriters Festival is the largest of its kind in the world. Now, it just wrapped up this past Sunday. It seems like Nashville takes over the island during that time. This morning, I'm actually John joined by two songwriters who participated in the festival, the first one being Bryn Black. Now, she has landed herself on over 150 radio stations across the world. She's also been on stage with some of country music's biggest stars. Along with getting to know her a little bit better this morning, you'll get a little sneak peek of her music. Bryn, thank you for being back with me today. Thanks for having me. We always have a great time here in Paradise, Key West. Yeah, how was this trip this time around? Oh my lord, it was wonderful. It was really laid back, even with the rain. We had a great mm -hmm. time and I celebrated a birthday mm -hmm. and, you know, got to play great shows and, you know, when you go on vacation with your closest friends, you always come back closer, and that's what this trip does for Nashville and Music Row. I mean, we make some of the best relationships this weekend. It's mm -hmm. just incredible. And I'm sure you guys get a lot of inspiration here in Key West as well. Oh, my Lord. I mean, I'm originally like an East Coast girl, so I love the beach, mm -hmm. but um, you will not believe how many beach and coastal songs come from this trip, and mm -hmm. people actually will take a couple days before or a few days after to write and just feel the creativity that's down here. Mm -hmm. Now, Bryn, you have had a lot going on. You were here with us last Songwriters Festival. You have a new album that was released called Get Mad. Yeah, it's uh, people get really scared of the title. They're like, get mad, that's, that's mean. And I'm like, no, it's really just a song about overcoming adversity and, you know, when the chips don't fall, how you want them to you sometimes you got to get mad and fight back and get over it so it's a real empowering song and I chose the to title the album get mad for that reason mm -hmm. and we had a radio single called that should have been us mm -hmm. this past year that did really well and so I got to go on my first big radio tour which was so fun and we've got to open up for some really great people this year I've been very blessed after releasing the album you don't know what's mm -hmm. gonna happen mm -hmm. and it either does well or it doesn't, mm -hmm. and um, it definitely opened a lot of doors for me, and I'm really thankful for that. Great. So are these about some of the obstacles that you have had to overcome, Bryn? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, you know, I've had to face a lot of death in my life and, um, you know, sudden death and people that are very close to me. So it's really been a fight to be able to keep going in Nashville mm -hmm. and not just go home and live with my family. and you know, mm -hmm. make a plan B happen um, with my life and career situation because it takes a lot to be able to do this every day and wake up mm -hmm. and still have that drive. I'm mm -hmm. sure you know mm -hmm. the same way in the entertainment business. And so, you know, Get Mad was that for me. was, mm -hmm. you know, when you wake up in the morning and you don't really feel like going and writing a song that day, like, yeah, you're. it's okay to be mad at what life throws at you. Mm -hmm. But it just shows the person you are and how strong you are of how you overcome it and keep on living, you know. Mm -hmm. well, that, so. That's a great attitude to have. And it's, Thank you. It's so true, Bryn. Now, you're spending life on the road right now. How is it? It's great. Um, you know, I've worked for many years in Nashville to get to this point and to be able to say I make a living touring and mm -hmm. songwriting. And um, I'm really blessed to be able to say that now. So. Mm -hmm. I have a travel bug and I love to travel so mm -hmm. even if I'm not on the road I like pick a destination and I'll have a girls weekend or whatever mm -hmm. you know so I really feel like I'm destined to do this and mm -hmm. some people don't travel well but it's like second nature to me so well good well our viewers can see your schedule by going to your website we'll be talking with one of your band members yeah. this morning and you're He's gonna great. give us a little taste of your music now Bryn Absolutely. what are you playing for us I'm gonna play you guys a new song off of my upcoming project that I'm working on. It's called Hey Love and we actually have finished this song and I might put it up on the website in the next few weeks just to get it out there and get people excited about it. So definitely check that out. Um, and I wrote it with two of my really close friends in Nashville, one of which was Bill DeLuigi and he just won the NSAI song competition and got to write with Lionel Richie and all this stuff. He's so great. And uh, this is one of my favorite songs that I've ever written, so I Great. hope y'all like it too. Enjoy, everybody. Hey, love. 
don't you have a heart? Cause if he had a heart, I wouldn't have a heartache. Hey, love, don't you have a heart? There's gotta be a someone, somewhere that needs one. I've been stuck in the middle of a dry spell I can't get out by myself Say hey love, don't you have a heart? Cause if he had a heart, I wouldn't have a heartache Hey love, don't you have a heart? There's gotta be a someone somewhere that needs one like mine Heartbreak. 